interesting young lady, I think she's uh, 20, uh, played actually for the senior national netball team, the She Cranes, at the Africa Netball Championship. Uh, there was a lot of weight on her shoulders. The, the, the under-21 team, the She Pals, was uh, tasked with uh, the, the assignment of, uh, of trying to hold their own at the World Youth Netball Cup down in, uh, in, in, in uh, Habarone, yeah, in, in Botswana. And, and uh, she, she did come up with the goods. Was Uganda's go-to person. I think played wing attack at some matches she was playing centre. But she was the standout player and uh, she carried the team on, 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 on her shoulders and she did that quite brilliantly. Hassan Waswa is one player who, is, who really works, gets out of his way to work for the team. Even when he went to Gabon on the back of limited uh, regular time, hardly had a club where he was commanding, you know, playing time. But once he gets moving, he, he'll give you 200%. And of course in, 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 in Gabon, we could argue that he was one of the better players, the way he protected uh, the back four, helping Tony Mawijia link uh, up with the Mias and all. Of course against uh, Ghana and Egypt, there were moments when uh, uh, you would see that this is a man who has not been playing, but still, uh, he, his heart and body gave it all. And, and for me, he was quite commendable. Even the World Cup qualifiers, of course, putting in quite a good shift over the two legs uh, against Egypt, which uh, earned him uh, a move to Egypt where he's now playing his club football. His performance, we didn't concede the goal against Ghana because of Hassan Wasa mistake. I thought he was solid in, in, in games against uh, Mali and Egypt. And I think. Uh, uh, he had a very outstanding year uh, and, and this is a guy who is versatile, he can play in midfield, he can play in, in defence and uh, every coach would want a player who is that versatile because uh, it does help you to manage uh, game situations. Arguably the most exciting rider on the, on the MX calendar. I mean, it's a darling to watch. Everyone who's been to Busika, who's been to Garuga, people pay cash to come and watch uh, Fortune. He's, 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 he's that, 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 that sort of rider. A bit daring, he'll do all, all sorts of crazy things to win, and he's, 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 I think he's elevated the level of, 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 of motocross. There are so many people who even think he can actually compete in MX1 against the likes of the Maxim Van Pies. Uh, that is just how good he is, and he's still is, is, is a teenager, so uh, Fortune is there obviously on the account of um, being the regional champion. He did again help Uganda outlast Kenya in the FIM East African Motocross Championship. And had he competed with Benny Sumba in the class, had he competed in, in all the races, all the six rounds, he would have been the champion. So on the account of what he brings, the, the grace and the elegance and the love and the charm he brings to the sport, I think uh, he does merit his place uh, on, that, on that list. There is a tendency, I think, when we are judging sportsmen to look at the sum of the entire year. But sometimes the entire year is defined by one moment. The reason why Ronaldo Dalima was World Player of the Year in 2002 was just that one month of the World Cup. Now, Benjamin Ochan, in that one moment against El Masri, to score a penalty and save another and get them into the group stages. You know when you're on the cusp of history, there's got to be someone who takes the responsibility as a leader. And Ochan is one of the most experienced players in, in Ugandan football. Experience is nothing without leadership. So for him to take the responsibility in North Africa, where Uganda has, literally stands no chance against any Arab team, goes there, takes a penalty and saves one, in that one moment, I don't even have to look at what else Ochan was doing the rest of the year, even if he was in bed. That one moment is what changes the history of KCCA. History was made for KCCA on that night, being the first Ugandan team to make it to the group stages of the CAF Confederation Cup. He came under very difficult circumstances. Remember, he had just lost his father, but then he was firm enough to go into the game. Yes, he did concede the two goals and 
one of the things that maybe people forget about Benjamin Ochan is that all the attacks start with him. Smart goalkeeper on the ball. He starts from the back, puts it out on the wing. So I think uh, he deserves a place in the top 50 athletes that stood out in 2017.